another tutorial on Plotly using Python. So here we are in a Jupyter Notebook. I'm going to execute this first cell as per usual, importing my cascading style sheet so that we have a, a bit of a better looking uh, notebook here. So distribution plots. Let's start off by just importing our Plotly library. As per usual, I'm importing iPlot because I want to plot right inside of my notebook. And I've got to initialize this notebook mode. So let's do that. And then I'm going to import the high level graph objects as go. So import plotly.graph underscore objs for objects as go. But something new, I'm also going to import the figure factory as ff. Let's do that. Let's create a bit of uh, data for us uh, for, for uh, working with on this uh, notebook. So I'm going to import the random module and I'm going to import NumPy using the abbreviation, the standard abbreviation NP. And I'm also going to seed the pseudo random number generator. So let's create three computer variables. I'm going to call them age, salary and binary gender. So for age, we're going to do a uniform uh, uh, distribution so np.random.uniform the low must be 21 the high 75 and I want a thousand data point values in that uniform distribution in that domain from 21 through 75 next the salary I'm taking from a normal distribution and you see the three arguments here LOC means the mean, scale means the standard deviation, and psi is just the number of values I want. So from a mean of 3000 with a standard deviation of 1000, I want 1000 data point values from this normal distribution. And lastly, from the random module, we're just going to do random.choices, and purely to keep things easy, uh, easy here and uh, uh, easy to explain at least, we're going to stick with this uh, binary distribution binary values uh, sample uh, space for my bi for my gender variable here so only female and male just to make things easy and a thousand of those please i'm going to import pandas because i just want to create a data frame and here we have the computer variable df and i'm going to do a pandas dot data frame and i create it by key value pairs for a with a python dictionary so i have age as my column header and then the age variable that we created there, salary with salary and gender with a binary gender. And I'm just going to, to uh, create two sub data frames there. So if we look down the gender column, only include female and down the gender column, only include male. And I'm call, going to call those sub data frames female and male. So let's run that. And then just let's look at the first five rows. So we just call the head uh, function there, female dot head method there and we have the first five rows we see the age there and then the gender column will only find females there and we find the salary column there so you can see that with these pandas data frames they actually uh, look like just flat uh, spreadsheet kind of files and let's look at the last five rows of the male and again just to make sure the gender column will only contain males so let's create our first bare bones distribution plot and the way that we're going to do that is just create a computer variable called fig and that is going to be ff for our figure factory there dot one of the methods there is the create dist plot and it takes a couple of arguments the first one is hist data and that's the data we want in this distribution plot now this, this distribution plot is going to look like a histogram it's nothing other than a special kind of histogram so we've got to give it a list to work with and what we're going to do is take the whole data frame go down the salary column and we say the values in that and then to list the to list function there we call on this on the values of the salary because we just want to create this this uh, uh, list to work with and you see it is there inside of the square brackets the group labels well we're only going to do one group here and I'm just going to call it salary sal salary distribution and as with the histogram we have to have a bin size and for each we have to have its own bin size but we only have one here so in our list we'll only have 200. so that might not make a lot of sense until we actually see what a distribution plot looks like so let's run that and there we have our distribution plot we have the nice histogram down the bottom here and uh, indeed the bin size is 200 and we also see this kernel estimate here kernel density estimate as it tries to draw this this distribution line here 
and there is our group label we only have we're only plotting one thing and that's the salary distribution so there we go this is called the rug plot underneath and each of these little vertical lines is actually one of our salary values and you can see the distribution you can also see that we took this from a normal distribution and you can see the gaussian type uh, uh, or bell shaped at least that it attempts to take there so let's just add a title and we're going to do that by just using uh, the, one of the ways to, to do it at least and that is just to call fig layout dot update so I've created my figure just as above and I'm going to update the layout so just another way of doing it instead of doing it by a dictionary as, as you've seen before and I'm just going to add a title and that title is just going to be salary distribution there we go we've got a beautiful uh, beautiful uh, title up above so that's not too much fun. Let's just create two data sets. So now my hist data, I'm going to make a list of those. So there's just so many ways of doing things in, in Plotly. And you might find that confusing to start off with, but it also creates a lot of power. And you can find the way that works for you. So here I'm going to take hist data, create a computer variable, and I'm going to pass a list of values. The first list, I'm, I'm going to take the female subdata frame, the salary column, the values in that column, and then create a list of that. So the two list there and then same for the male my group labels are now going to be female salary and male salary and now i'm going to create my fig and let's create this plot the his data I'm, i i just passed the his data there so i'm not saying his data equals his data because these are just keywords the normal standard keywords so we actually don't have to use them and then group labels is going to be that list and then my bin size i want 200 and 200 so the same bin size for each which means you can make the bin sizes different for each of those let's do that i plot and now we can see we have male salary in orange then female salary in this bluish color and you see the rug plot for each of those beautifully done let's change the colors of this so everything exactly the same but i'm going to bring in a new argument to my create this plot here and colors i'm going to do an rgb with uh, with the opacity here in 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 for the opacity you can see 20 20 20 so that's going to be very dark gray in 150 150 150 it's like sort of a mi middle gray uh, color let's run that and have a look and there we go you can see the light color for male the darker color for female there and because we set the opacity so you can actually see the one shine through the other now instead of this kernel density estimate plot here we can actually just use the data that comes out of that and create a mean and a standard deviation so that we can create this normal distribution uh, as as instead of this kernel density estimate that we see there we again have our hist data our group labels we create this this plot we have the hist data the group labels the bin sizes but now the curve type is new it's a new argument and we're just going to set it to normal and here's just one other way that we can update this layout or create this layout so i'm going to call fig dot layout so instead of the inverted in, in the quotation marks and the square brackets i'm just calling dot layout and dot update and i'm passing yeah i'm passing this dictionary to it so key value pair the title fit it so just another way it just makes it so powerful and easy to use you can use whatever way fits you so now we can see this normal curve that it took from the data just doing the mean and the standard deviation so that we can draw this normal distribution here and you can see uh, the two values there for male and female so in case you want to omit some things there are three things here that's our curve our histogram and our rug plot so we're going to omit a few things so we're going to say show histogram as being false and show the rug plot also as false um, everything else exactly the same except that we've added an x-axis inside of our update to our layout here as a key value pair the key being x-axis the value being another dictionary and that dictionary having two key value pairs title being salary and the domain being a thousand to five thousand so we can even bring that in and there we go we just have these two very nice smooth curves there so you can see with this distribution plot you can do so much and you can well imagine some data that will look beautifully if represented with these distribution plots i'll see you in the next tutorial